YouTube. How are you doing? This is Puck. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 10 bootable uh, USB stick. And uh, to do that you need a program called Power ESO. But what version of Power ESO do you need? Well, you need version 4.9. Just type in Google Power ESO 4.9 slash download. Don't go for higher versions because you will have to deal with spyware. So Power ESO. You are warned, my friends. Okay, so um, what you should do is after you install Power ISO, I'm doing this under Windows 10 just to let you see that Windows 10 can handle all this what I'm doing. Um, right mouse click the icon of Power ISO. There you go. Right mouse click it and run it as administrator. But of course, you must first make sure that you put in your USB stick. So we're gonna put in the USB stick so there it is yeah so when you have the USB stick uh, in the baby then uh, you're gonna run it as administrator right mouse click and then say run as administrator okay so now we're running this as an administrator and then you will see that um, it will uh, probably uh, don't show anything here but it won't show anything just go to tools and up here uh, you will select create bootable USB drive well uh, up here you can see that a nano uh, drive is connected that is this thing here four gigabytes you need uh, a yeah at least uh, something like four gigabyte stick I don't think it would fit no it won't fit on the two gigabytes so you know you have to go for a four gigabyte stick uh, up here you're just gonna select the ISO file here it is Windows technical can you read it there it is windows technical and then you just hit uh, start and when the process starts you know um the disk will start flashing and then you know that it's busy with writing and creating your usb bootable uh, windows 10 start up this so peeps that's how to do it and you don't need no other program to do it just do it with power iso 4.9 this is the app that will also let you create many other bootable disks uh, or flash disks or even uh, USB drives and hard drives you can do so much with this uh, with this program you can also burn um, burn CDs with it well you should check it out you can uh, create virtual uh, how you call it uh, CD-ROM players or DVD-ROM players if you want to you know uh, use an image file and run it f straight from the image file then you can also do that with power iso okay peeps this was it i'm not gonna make this video any longer uh, if you think this information was useful of course hit this video like and subscribe to my channel and to my next tip or trick